I will touch on this in terms of the prevalent news of the day, which has been with us now for the past two years, and that's the Arab uprisings. And the examples that we've had from Egypt specifically, but in other places as well, is that women journalists have been at risk more than their male counterparts. Um, they have had to take precautions. They have had, uh, in some instances, to um, refuse to go out and report a story simply because of who they are, of their gender. Um, I think that safety is something that applies to all journalists, male and female. And the BBC has lost a number of journalists uh, in the past few years. Most of them have been male, but we have had also some women journalists who have uh, very unfortunately uh, died. Um, but in, in terms of specifically the safety of women journalists in today's world, I, I think that uh, people like ourselves, editors, managers, etc., um, will have to bear that specificity in mind. Although I do say, and I keep repeating, that safety when it comes to journalism is a blanket issue. It is to do with men as well as women. Will the BBC ever say to a woman correspondent, we do not think that you should go there because you're a woman, we're going to send a male colleague? Absolutely not. But what the BBC will do will be to ensure that the safety of this woman correspondent is absolutely borne in mind. And generally, we send uh, security guards in difficult areas, in sensitive areas, with our male and female correspondents. But of course, if we think that the safety of our women correspondents um, are at stake, then we do make a special effort to make sure that they are being protected. But we will never say to a woman journalist, do not go there, it is not safe for a woman. But we will make sure that she is fully aware that her management, that the managers are fully aware and that we've taken every measure to ensure her safety where she goes. I, my message is uh, first and foremost to editors and managers and people who make decisions. But I do know that in our profession, internationally, the safety of women is taken very, very seriously. And I do know that there are special uh, meetings and um, groups of people who are concerned about this and who make sure that uh, this issue is at the forefront of our minds as journalists. But of course, it is first and foremost the duty and responsibility of the manager, editor, radio station, uh, broadcast network to ensure that their women journalists are totally safe. And this is by sending them to do their job like anyone else would do their job, but ensuring that they, that they are being protected. Well, I can say that I am glad that UNESCO are doing uh, a radio day. Um, I think we now need radio, television and um, internet day. Global News, BBC, Lilian Landor. Thank you.